Police have identified the man they say brutally beat and killed a woman in an office in Old City. 41 year old Jeffrey Stepien is charged with murder. Kelly Rule live in Old City with more on this victim. And there's also some surveillance video, Kelly, days before the murder that shows this alleged murderer holding a pipe. That's exactly right, Jason. This video is certainly disturbing. His landlord, former landlord, tells us he has not lived in that apartment for years. And this video captures him outside, possibly with two pipes, less than 24 hours before he's accused of allegedly murdering a woman with a pipe in this old city office building. Uh, tonight, a law enforcement source also tells Fox 29 they are looking into a possible motive that he was trying to live in the rented out office space, and he was told he had to move. New surveillance video shows a man pacing in front of a Northeast Philadelphia apartment building Tuesday evening for more than an hour and a half. He appears to have two pipes in his hand. A landlord tells Fox 29 this is 49 year old Jeffrey Stepien, who used to live there years ago. Police say he is now facing murder charges for brutally killing 31 year old Samantha Mag the next day inside this old city office building with a pipe. She's a sweet, very sweet, lovable person. She's doing her job and she get hurt in the process. It's not right. Police say Mag was sitting in the reception area on the eighth floor of the building on Chestnut Street in the middle of the day Wednesday around 2 p.m. when Stepien, armed with a metal pipe, walked up behind her and beat her to death. Police say there were several witnesses, which led to more than a dozen 911 calls. Arriving officers found Stepien getting off the elevator, covered in blood, and carrying two foot long bloody metal pipes. A former coworker tells Fox 29, Mag was a manager at Regis, a center that rents office spaces, but has shared common areas, including the reception area where she was killed. Police confirm Stepien rented office space, and a law enforcement source tells Fox 29 they are looking into the possibility that he might have been living in the office space and was told he could not stay there. I'm glad the cops got him. A friend tells Fox 29 Mag was incredibly sweet and non-confrontational. A neighbor near her Blackwood, New Jersey home who did not want to be on camera says he is shocked. She was a very nice person, kept to herself, um, didn't bother anybody, very quiet, good neighbor. Being the father of five daughters, what, uh, you know, what the family goes through now, it's just, just so tragic, so sad. Now, we did reach out to Regis. That's where the victim worked, and that's where Stepien uh, allegedly rented the office space. We reached out to, that, to them for a comment, but, Jason, we are still waiting to hear back. Kelly Rule in Old City. Thank you, Kelly, for your reporting.